Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you today with an article that makes me so, oh, so happy to report on, or I should say a topic that makes me so happy to report on. And it's from Breitbart, and it is dated January 26th, and it is from John Nolte, who I've made uh, many references to in the past, who I think is just great. So as soon as I saw John Nolte wrote an article about journalists losing their jobs in Joe Biden's economy, I went, I gotta read this. Um... So let's just jump right into it. It says an estimated 2,681 news industry jobs were lost through the end of November, reports the far left Associated Press. And I would call the Associated Press far left. Uh, they're just activists at this point. They're not really journalists trying to do, you know, a journalism. So it says, that's what you call a good story, reports the far right John Nolte. So he's saying that about himself. He's not far right, by the way. And he forgot a period at the end of the sentence. It says, I'll bet good money that over 90% of those who lost their jobs voted for his fraudulency, Joe Biden. So what we have here is another case of people getting what they voted for. Boo-hoo. Yeah, I mean, my attitude can best be summed up as the Jeremy Clarkson quote the, oh no, anyway. Like, it, this just, this needs to happen, as far as I'm concerned. It says those 2,681 jobs lost over the first 11 months of 2023 added up to more than the full years of 2022 and 2021, the employment firm of Challenger, Gray, and Christmas told the AP. So it's a spaceship, a color, and a holiday. All right, there you go. So embedded tweeter says, when leftist journals lose, we all win. Yeah, and this is like right after Sports Illustrated went, uh, basically laid off their entire staff. And I think I made a video about that already. And well, just looking at the picture in front of you right now, I dare to ask why did Sports Illustrated go out of business? I don't know. But anyway, let's keep going. And because this article is not very long, it says, and, and already this year, the full left LA Times, and that's the big news recently, is the LA Times this is, has announced 115 job cuts, roughly 20% of its newsroom staff. Oh no. As it says, layoffs and buyouts have hit a wide swath of the news industry over the past year, runs the AP. The Washington Post, NPR, CNN, and Vox Media are among the many companies hit. Once again, I say, oh no. It says, there are two reasons why all of these left wing outlets are bleeding cash and staff one Biden tanked the economy and two and you can see here he has a list and I've I've kept this list on other documents here because you just need to see it to believe it so here's all these hoaxes that they perpetuated over essentially like the last I'd say since Trump was nominated uh, for the presidency I'm not even going to go through all of these here you can see them right in front of you but there's so figure this in at least nine years there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six different hoaxes. Okay, and so as he says here, says in other words, the corporate media suck. It says the very same people telling us that the only problem with Biden's awesome economy, as they keep saying, and it's just not true, is public misperception that have lost their jobs in massive numbers. If you don't see the poetry in that, you're stupid. Correct. And I don't know if a, of a single normal person who believes the corporate media contributes anything constructive and positive to our culture anymore. I don't know of a single normal person who doesn't see the corporate media for what they are, a dishonest misinformation machine only interested in spreading left-wing propaganda, conspiracy theories, and political violence. The corporate media are cancer, an evil, bigoted, ignorant, entitled, dangerous, elite, fascist cancer on a republic, and I refuse to pretend I'm anything other than joyful to see these spoiled, entitled cry bullies shoved off their Ivy League glide pass into, an adverse, into the adversity of the real world. I think that's a perfect statement. I have no issue with that whatsoever. He's 100% right. I mean, remember, these are the people that um, did the whole learn to code thing, and then there was even... Uh, what's his face? Chris Eliza from CNN saying on Twitter, you can go find it, that that never happened. We never did that. Then people were just absolutely savaging him with like, oh, wait, is this is, you know, they is this you sort of thing? Like not just him saying it, but all these other people saying, you know, the learn the code thing. And so he's trying to be like, you shouldn't believe your, what your your lying eyes, uh, dick bag. So it says, um. Maybe this will mature some of the spoiled babies, doubt it, force them to walk a mile in our shoes, wisen them up, thicken their skin, and maybe even discover some empathy for those who live, worship, speak, and think differently. I'm going to go ahead and press X to doubt on that. I mean, one can be hopeful, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and say probably not going to be a thing. Finishing this off, it says, I don't ever want to see anyone physically hurt, but setbacks and failure are good for the human spirit and breed maturity. And if there is any institution that could use a dose of both, it is a wretched corporate media. So, like I said before, and he's 100% right, I agree with like every single letter of what he wrote in this article. But go look up um, 
I saw an interesting article about why the Los Angeles Times failed. Uh, it wasn't an article, I'm sorry. It was actually a, f- um, a thread. That's another word I'm looking for from somebody on X. I, I apologize. I do not remember the guy's name. Um, but he, uh, somebody else retweeted him retweeting his own post from, this was like from like, I think fall of 2022, it might have been. But essentially what it amounts to is that the guy who owns the L.A. Times let his daughter, who's like a major socialist activist, essentially use the L.A. Times as like her soapbox to talk about socialist causes. And then people just kind of were like, what the hell is this? And yeah, that's what happens. You go to the far left and only pander to them. That's what happens. Start doing all that stuff like Sports Illustrated. Start doing this. Nah, gee, I wonder why. So. Let me know what you guys think about this. I mean, do you, honest to God, care if these journalists lost their jobs? Uh, are you? Do you think it's some kind of bit of schadenfreude? That's the word I'm looking for to them. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon.